Yay, ding, we're recording. So I've already drawn the free body diagrams. What we have is a three kilogram box and a seven kilogram box drawn as such. There's a rope over the pulley at connecting them. There's one tension, by the way. This tension and this tension are the same. The use of this massless, frictionless pulley is just to redirect the rope. It doesn't slow it down, doesn't change the tension. Real life, it does. But we're not going to worry about that in this introductory physics course. So we drew both free body diagrams as the question asked, and then we're going to find the acceleration and the tension force. And then we're also, at the end of this, going to calculate what the coefficient of friction is. Because we're not given the coefficient of friction, we're just given the force of the friction. So the free body diagram of the object on the table has a tension force pulling it, normal up, force of gravity down, and there's a frictional force slowing it down. Okay? I know I've done one mistake in my free body diagrams. Have you spotted it yet? M2 doesn't have a tension force. Good. Let's see how many erasers are coming out. How many people copied down everything? If I wrote down pink elephants, I bet some of, some of you would write it. So the mass of the system is 10 kilograms. And the sum of the forces, now again, don't do this on yours. If anything, just lay a pencil across it so you can see it. Those are the direction of motion. So the T's cancel each other out. The two forces, yes, this time there's two. There's two forces. The sum of the forces is the force of gravity of object number two, which is the seven kilogram block. Minus the force of friction of the three kilogram block. I have to do that because I want to make sure that I'm only calculating the force of friction on the three kilogram block, not the whole system. So I will do that right here. That the force of friction here is on this object is 18.6 newtons. And the force of gravity of this guy is mg which is 7 times 9.8. What's 7 times 9.8? 68.6? Thank you. So that means the sum of the forces is 68.6 newtons subtract 18.6 newtons. So the forces on the system is 50 newtons. So we'll write out Newton's second law. Sum of the forces is equal to F net, which equals MA. Filling in the numbers now. 50 newtons is equal to the mass of the system, 10 kilograms times the acceleration. So the acceleration is going to be 5 meters per second squared. I'm just going to pull down here a tiny bit. Let's work on M2. The sum of the forces acting on this is F net, which equals MA. There's two forces pulling on this guy. Tension minus the frictional force. We're working on M1 right now. And the mass of this guy times the acceleration. So we take the winning force, tension minus the frictional force, So tension minus the frictional force of 18.6 newtons is equal to the mass, 3 kilograms, 
times the acceleration, 5 meters per second squared. We do the math. 15 plus 18.6 is 33.6 newtons. We're done, almost. There's two more things this time we have to do. We're going to work on M2 by checking and solving for tension again. Some of the forces is equal to F net which equals MA. The forces acting on this guy is force of gravity minus the tension. Equals MA. Please have that step, that's very important. The force of gravity on this guy is 68.6. Minus the tension is going to equal the 7 kilogram block Let's just write that down just so you know what the 7 means. It's the 7 kilograms times the acceleration of 5 meters per second squared. So tension is going to equal 68.6 .6 newtons minus the 35 newtons. And we get 33 point... Actually, I'll just undo that. Doom, doom, doom. Tension is equal to 33.6 newtons. Yay. Double check marks. We're not done yet. Unlike other ones, this question also asked one more thing. Also, calculate the coefficient of friction between the table and block M1. Oh. Another part. And that's easy. We're told that the force of friction was equal to 18.6 newtons. The force of friction has a formula of mu mg equals 18.6 newtons. So mu is equal to 18.6 newtons divided by mass, that's a 3 kilogram object, times 9.8. That's the g. I'll clear that up. So 18.6 divided by the 3 divided by the 9.8. So the coefficient of friction is 0 0.633. One second, let me just box this off and...